graduated nursing school one year ago this month and I believe there are five things that you should consider before you even choose or fill out an application to a nursing school. So if you guys would like to see this video, go ahead and stick around. Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Raquel, welcome to my channel. I do beauty lifestyle and nursing videos, so if you guys would like to see more videos like that, feel free to subscribe, it's absolutely free, and like this video. Today we have a nursing video. Yes, there are five things that you guys may not have known or even considered before, so I just wanted to tell you what I think will be very, very helpful. Okay, so for the first tip, it might sound like super random, but it's really not. I want you guys to go on the Bureau of Labor and Statistics website. It's BLS.gov. I have my laptop right here next to me. Years ago, I was on the web and I stumbled across this website, BLS.gov. But what it is, it keeps track of every single occupation that you can apply for in the United States. So on the top right hand corner, it'll say search. So if you search for, let's say LPN, which is what I searched for, you can search for that. You can search for a pediatrician. It doesn't have to be in the healthcare either. You can search for a construction worker or you can search for a teacher or just a, a loads and loads. It has every single occupation. So, and then I went on, for me specifically, I went for LPN and then it gives the occupational outlook handbook so it gives the average of the median pay so in 2018 you can see how much lpns usually make and then it goes on to what type of training the job outlook um, and then it goes into hyperlinks that you can click on and what lpns um, do the work environment the pay the job outlook and the state and area data like it gives so much helpful details in every single occupation like I would be remiss if I didn't tell you guys about this awesome website that is just free that is out there on the interweb so even if you don't want to go into any type of healthcare, it has all of the occupations so make sure that you guys go in there so you can know um, exactly how much the median pay is that's very important you can see um, the job outlook to see if in 20 years will they even be looking will that job be uh, obsolete by that particular time so or if you're in the market to go into a different field will you be able to find a job in that field I mean is there enough um, jobs out there for you guys to apply for so it's so important and then it tells you exactly what type of education if there's any type of education or training needed it'll tell you on that website so it's very important so definitely take advantage of that website bls.gov so i think all of these tips are very very important but this might be the number one important thing so after you went on bls.gov you have determined that you wanted to be a nurse right so the next thing that you have to do make sure that you do this before you start fantasizing of what nursing school you want to go to, make sure that you go to your state or the state nursing program that you're applying for and go to that state's Board of Nursing website. I live in Ohio, so obviously I went to the Ohio Board of Nursing website. And I'll link it below just in case you may live in Ohio or you're applying for a nursing program in Ohio. Please go to that website and then you want to check for the education program. So I can't speak for every single state, but the Ohio Board of Nursing's website is awesome because you can see every single nursing programs in the state of Ohio and you can see if they have full accreditation, provisional accreditation, or conditional accreditation. Personally, if I was applying to a nursing school, I'm only applying to a nursing school that has full accreditation. When you click on the educational programs and I chose LPN but of course you can go and look for RN or nurse practitioner it'll tell you um, that there are um, three different approvals so you can have conditional full and provisional so the conditional approval just means that it's a new program so it's conditional at this time and then when a school has provisional it means that it used to have full accreditation but then uh, the NCLEX passing rate dropped, so they dropped them to provisional. And 
Personally, I wouldn't pick a program that had provisional. You do what you want. Um, I want to make sure that it has full accreditation and that they are fully equipped to uh, test me and train me and I will be able to pass the NCLEX. And they tell you right off the bat um, what status their approval rate is and if they're provisional, why. So um, one came up, they are provisional as of March 2019 to March 2021. And as of March 2019, they had low NCLEX pass rate. So yeah, they tell them off the bat like what exactly is up with the nursing programs, which I appreciate. Now you have a full list of schools to choose from so from that list make sure that you pick about three or four and the next thing that you want to do from that list is at least go to three so at least tour the school have an orientation or do a nursing orientation. That is so important. When you're looking for the nursing school, you're super excited and you may be sold on the very first school that you go to. I know I was, the very first school that I went to, I was sold, like I could not wait. Um, to go to that school, I wanted to sign up right then and there. The only reason why I didn't in hindsight, I'm glad I didn't, but I was pregnant at the time and I didn't want to start the program and have to stop um, because I was had to go on maternity leave. So that's the only reason. And then I picked another school after the fact. But um, that's before I knew of this, um, this list right here, the provisional, and that actual school is on provisional right now. So in hindsight, I'm so glad I didn't go with that school. So again, it's awesome to be excited and I want you to be excited about it. Just make sure that you make an informed decision. Go onto the BL, bls.gov website. Importantly, go to the nursing in your state, the Board of Nursing website to make sure that you pick a school that has full accreditation and from there at least visit three different schools. And they may word it a little bit different. Some schools um, may not have an actual tour tour that you can go to. I know like different universities or community college, it might not necessarily be a tour, but they may have like an informational session or um, some type of like one-on-one -on -one that you can do with one of the counselors there. Um, just you wanna get a feel of the actual school just to see if you'll be a good fit for that program. Okay, so let's say that you went on bls.gov, you decided that you wanted to be a nurse, so you went to the nursing, uh, Board of Nursing website. Um, you picked a few schools that you were interested in, um, and now you've scheduled your orientation. So you're kind of getting the ball running and deciding on what nursing school that you should go to. So at the same time, what you want to do is fill out applications, scholarships, grants. There's money to be had out there. People are willing to pay for you to go to school. Please don't take thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars out just because you don't have the time or you don't make time to go out for the money. I'm just speaking from experience because it wasn't until after I started nursing school that I found that there were programs that are literally trying to give people money. But make sure that you are at least searching. Honestly, I would fill out about 20 applications. If you have any suggestions in the comments below as a really good resource, to find scholarships that will be so helpful to everybody that is looking for it, please do that in the comments below. And don't forget your job. Just see if your job will pay for tuition reimbursement. So there's just so many opportunities out there for people to pay for education. So make sure that you try to take advantage of that. It is very important that you should know that every nursing school, the majority of nursing school at least, will have some form of entrance exam. So be prepared for it. There's different resources out there, different booklets that you can purchase. What I did was I just took practice exams online. So the test I took was the HESI A2 entrance exam, and I have it right here. So I took the reading, vocabulary, grammar, and math. There was no science necessary for the entrance exam that I took. Um, but some do require science as well, and then you have to get an average score of 75% or higher. They actually provided some websites down here, just free websites that you can go on to practice. So I'll link those below. And also in my school, they did um, free education uh, courses in order to pass the entrance exam. So you just wanna make sure that you go ahead and study for the HESI exam because you want to get into nursing school. So that is the first 
step. So here we are at the end of the video. Again, you want to make sure that you are going to BLS gov just to see all the occupation number two you want to go to your state's board of nursing website to get a list of your nursing schools you want to make sure that the nursing schools that you choose have full accreditation and be forewarned if they have provisional what that could mean number three you want to make sure that you go to multiple informational sessions tours or orientations so you can get different ideas of how different schools operate to pick and choose the correct one for you. Number four, you want to make sure that you are searching for different scholarships and grant opportunities. And number five, just make sure that you are preparing for the HESI. I really pray and hope that this video has been helpful to someone. If you have anything to add, please feel free to add that in the comments below. Well, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. You take care. Bye.